Hi, I'm Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is my Kindle Unlimited TBR. These are the books I have checked out right now that I have not already talked about in my previous KU TBR, which uh, my most recent one was a month ago. So I'm doing these a little bit closer together. I check out so many books that I never get to, but they are ones that interested me enough to actually check them out. So I feel like it's a good video for you because there's so many that you would probably like that I never actually end up reading, <laughs> which means they don't really get talked about. First one is Scream For Us, which is Order of the Unseen by Molly Doyle. This was a very steamy Halloween novella that was all over the place last year, but by then I was already Halloweened out and so I didn't read it. And this is a wide shoes romance with three different guys who are dressed up as Ghostface, Jason, and Michael Myers. And they unalive her bullies for, for her and things like that. I am actually currently reading it and it's a little bit repetitive but I'm very much enjoying it. So this is a steamy Halloween romance. Then I have Coffee with a Side of You which is Entertainment District number one by B Love. So this is a black love contemporary romance and she has a coffee shop I believe and he is a real estate investor who is trying to buy her shop. So should be good. I enjoy Bee Loves, especially like leather fluffy contemporary romance, which I think this is. Then I have Moonstruck, which is Necessary Evils number three by Only James. This, this is the MM Sociopath series that is kind of like my exception to not reading MM written by <laughs> women who just write MM. I just, I love it. I can't lie. I can't lie. I love it. So this is like the perfect dark romance sociopath insta lust balance that I really just crave. <laughs> so if you have any recommendations similar to this series with those specific elements, that's what I want is the sociopath or psychopath and the insta -lust and the obsession and also like treating their, the person that they love well, even though it's maybe different than how other people feel those emotions, right? It's book three. I want to read it. I've been wanting to read it since I read the second one months ago. So then I have The Deal Dilemma by Megan Brandy. This is a virgin makes a deal to like get lessons and to get her virginity taken care of. And it's football, I want to say, sports romance in college. It's like the popcorn new adult drama romance that I really love. Then I have Demon's Dream by L. Kaysen. This is completely because of Shades and Pages. This is a 768 page book. <laughs> and she says that like it's the best book she's read all year and she's obsessed. And one reason why I'm really, really interested is it's like black mafia-esque. I don't know for sure that's mafia, but she is like taken from the wedding by him and that is my favorite trope and I just kind of want to read it <laughs> but the length I will not lie is intimidating to me so it's a possibility for Black Aweenathon. Then I have One Heart by Chase Verity. This is the bartender gets on the lives. The necromancer brings him back. He's a still hot zombie and they're trying to figure out who murdered him and falling in love at the same time. So Queer Paranormal that I really love, did not get to it in the Love in the Night, would still like to get to it this time of year, I think it would be perfect. Then I have The Orc from the Office by Kate Pryor. This I got from Jackie on Twitter. And this is like fraternization is frowned upon, like there's, you can't do it at their company, even if it's mating, even if it's accidental and they like accidentally mate in, an elevator where they're stuck. And I don't know, it sounds really good. <laughs> then I have Luxuria, which is Shades of Sin number one by Call It Rhodes. I got this on TikTok. I will link the creator. I do really enjoy her content, but I'm not sure what her username is. This is Shades of Sin number one by Colette Rhodes. It's a monster romance. And she is a monster hunter and was given as an arranged marriage to a monster because it was found out that she's attracted to monsters. But I think, I think her king monster husband doesn't realize that she's very into him. Yes, it sounds amazing. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Then I have Reverie and Redemption by Cadence Snow. This is because of stuff, a novelty corner. And this is a standalone Why Choose 
paranormal romance that she really loved, which is an immediate intrigue for me. She hears voices and it's the guys and they're dreamwalkers. Yes. <laughs> It's really because it's a standalone, which I do want more white shoes. I don't have to read like a trilogy for that's actually good. Steph already read it, said it was actually good. So like that's honestly why I'm interested in it. Then I have The Cardigans, which is Criminal Intentions number one by Cole McKay. This is another option for Black Aweenathon. This is MM Murder Mystery FBI, maybe. I don't know. Series. It's very slow board. I think there's like no romance in this first book, but it is them solving murder so that would fit the crime elements that I need for Black Aweenathon and I'm very interested in reading this series. I've heard good things and I do want to give it a try so that I have right now. Then I have No Thank You which is The Fiennes Family number one. This one is by Alexandra Warren. This is a trilogy of Thanksgiving novellas. One is by Alexandra Warren, one is by Nicole Falls, and one is by Christina C. Jones. I really love Alexandra Warren and Christina C. Jones writing. I have not had the best success with Nicole Falls but I would really like to give her more tries because like she does a lot of projects with these two and I'm just like okay why don't you work for me as well as the other. So I want to give hers a try as well so I want to read all three. Reading all three in late November is probably too much for me so I want to try and get started on it late October early November you know what I'm saying. So this is black love contemporary romance all following one family I think we're following different siblings. Then I have something like love by Christina C. Jones which Christina C. Jones is not publishing for like the rest of the year so if you're trying to get through her backlist this is your time to try and make some progress on that because she often is publishing like a book a month if you're reading a book a month you're breaking even so it's a chance to get ahead. This one is highly recommended by Mina at Mina Reads and we often like similar books. We do have polar opposite opinions on some things but we often like similar books and this is a Christina C. Jones book where the main character is bi and Mina is a bi reviewer who loves this book and so I just keep wanting to prioritize this one specifically in Christina C. Jones backlist. So this is one I'd like to get to. I'd like to get to this fall. I want um it's been on my list for forever. <laughs> and I have Hold by Claire Kent. Okay, this is another one from Steph at Novelty Corner. This is a trope that I love. I'm very drawn to, but I often don't have good success with it. So I don't have a recommendation video for it or anything because I don't generally end up loving the execution of the trope. I often need enough or it's not that high of a rating, but pretty much anytime I hear this setup, I add it to my TBR. So this is like a prisoner thing and he's like the strongest prisoner so she goes to him for protection in exchange for sex. Don't look too deep into it. I don't know why that works for me like every single time I'm always like yes but it does and it has my attention. I think that this is a sci-fi. I think it's a prison planet which you know they tend to be because that explains the lawlessness and the and her being in with him and stuff like that. So so she was convicted of a minor crime and sent to a prison planet. Dun dun dun. He's the mysterious loner who has won his territory through intelligence and brute strength. Steph loved it. I am hoping that this one works really well for me because like I said I want good versions of this trope. Then I have In a Jam by Kate Canterbury and this is a contemporary marriage of convenience with the like that's my wife moment. I got this from Syl on Twitter. Of course everyone is linked in the description and this one she's trying to get her tulip farm. She has to be married and so her fiance had called off the wedding so she is married to this guy who has always loved her but she doesn't know it. They went to high school together and he's a single dad because he has his custody of his niece. Yes yes yes. Um, Syl had like some highlights on Twitter and I was like oh you got me. <laughs> yes yes you got me. This is my wife moment. This oh give it to me. Then I have Worth It by Lady Marie and this is a black love romance by my friend 
and I am hoping to read it in October specifically. Although to be perfectly honest, like I have had multiple weeks of not being able to mood read and I need it. I need, I need it. So we'll see how many of these I get to, but this one, she's, you know, not looking for love. She needs a date for her mother's wedding and he's back in his hometown. And for every fake date he takes her on, she has to let him take her on a real date. Yes. <laughs> And then lastly, I also have Hollow's Grove by Lee Jacket, and this is Hollow Nights number four, but I have not read any of them. This is the Halloween one. This should be erotic. I am hoping to love it. He wants her to scream for him, and she's in a maid outfit, and they're trying to solve a real life murder mystery game, and running through a hedge maze. I want it. <laughs> If I don't love this, I'm going to be deeply disappointed. And that is all you need to know about that. So that's the other Halloween book that I specifically went to read. So those are my current Kindle Unlimited checkouts that I'm hoping to read in the next three weeks or so. Will I get to all these? Of course not. I never, ever, ever do. But I want to. <laughs> So that's it. If you've read or want to read any of these, definitely let me know if you have any recommendations, especially for this time of year for me on Kindle Limited. Also, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!